Hey y'all, this is Santasha. I'm coming out of the closet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so this is um, part two to Roots for You. Um, her video response, because you know she did the video showing you all her oils and herbs and essential oils and things of that nature. So this would be part two of my collection. And um, this right here is all of my essential oils and tinctures and herbal extracts and what I usually use these for is um, I usually just do a little herbal oil mix and sometimes I just mix them in and then you know different recipes call for different things so I had to have it all so I got <laughs> rose hip cayenne stevia the stevia probably should be downstairs because I really mostly use this when I'm use, doing like a smoothie or something, but it's upstairs for some reason. Uh, seed oil, plantain. This is arnica oil, and this oil is actually really good for um, pain. Yeah, so see, I don't use everything for hair i use some of this stuff for my body but like if you got some knee pain some joint pain rub some of this arnica oil on there chamomile that's the herbal extract yucca root extract horsetail extract and like what for the extracts i like to add i, I add those to my um uh, to my leave-in, my do-it-yourself leave-in conditioner. You just add a couple of drops. Sage extract. Black elderberry. I use this for my daughter when she gets sick. Got a little cold, little runny nose. I give her some of this. Um, clary sage essential oil. That's supposed to be really good for hair growth. Um, stimul a lot of these things are good for stimulating hair growth. And um, But the only thing I... Uh, you really have to be careful about these herbs and things because some of them, see like this one, promotes digestion, catnip. But catnip is also good for when your kids got fever or whatever. This is some chamomile oil. So really be careful when you're using this myrrh. Um, when I originally brought the myrrh, and I had some frankincense in here somewhere, I originally brought it because it's in the Bible. I was like, if it's in the Bible, it got to be good. So myrrh. Spearmint. I really I bought the spearmint because I like the smell of slippery elm. Put that in your DC. Put it in your um, conditioners. It's really good slip. Slippery elm got good slip. But look on the bottle. It promotes a healthy throat. And <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thyme extract. Oregon oil. Now this organ oil is good when you got those colds. So and your runny nose, sinusitis, all that kind of stuff. So get your organ oil. Nettle leaf, the herbal extract. Marshmallow root. So I got marshmallow root in every form. I got marshmallow herbal extract, marshmallow herb, and marshmallow powder. So I think I like marshmallow root. Product root, good for stimulating hair growth. Orange essential oil it smells really good red clover I don't know why I brought this one I think I've seen it in a recipe somewhere else but um it promotes female hormonal balance so you're going through the change mental this promotes prostate and urine flow function I know I brought it because I've seen it somewhere else because I don't have a prostate and my urine flow is doing just fine Right. Thule. That's good for conditioning your hair. Tangerine, bought it because I like the smell. Corinder, I don't know why I brought that one. Sweet fennel, seen it in a recipe somewhere. Lemongrass, love, love, love the smell. Wang Lang, Wang Lang. This is really good for conditioning your hair. Um, I usually add it 
and like I said on my herbal mix that I make the herbal oil mix I always add some of it to my DC mix so my DC mix is the powders then a two uh, a teaspoon of my herbal oil mix which has a lot of these in there my herbal oil slash my herbal slash essential oil mix which has a lot of these in there and a teaspoon a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of the carrier oil of my choice all right onion I brought this onion and I know I got some garlic somewhere but I brought that those two yep the onion and the garlic oil I brought these two because I seen it on YouTube somewhere where somebody was uh, recreating the black castor oil and these was um, two of their main ingredients so I got that I'm because of the smell the near nearly nearly there it is the nearly this one smells really good this one is highly expensive I mean you if this one came in the jojoba oil and it's um, $16.99 that's mixed in the jojoba oil if you want it straight uh, this little bottle costs about $50 but I brought this one because I seen a natural deodorant mix that had they used this for um, smell so that's why I have that one. Let's see what we got. We got cypress, cinnamon leaf, and the frankincense I told you about. And the frankincense is quite expensive too. It's about $19 too. So these are those those three right there. And the cinnamon leaf, um, I've used it during the winter season with my um, daughter and my husband. The bergamot is really good for hair growth not too much natural light coming through this room today so I'm getting big time glares trying to show y'all these and I try to show y'all because I you know I pronounce something wrong in a heartbeat so the wow Maharan Maharan here is good for pain too you mix it with that arnica and um yeah it helps take away the pain. Eucalyptus and ger geranium. Now geranium you have to be careful with. But it's good for conditioning. But if I believe correctly it's good for um, conditioning if you got oily hair. But at the same time it's really good for um, aromatherapy. A lot of these are good aromatherapy. Um, women's cooling mist. You can make a women's cooling mist with this. And if you want to restore balance just take a couple of sniffs or whiffs it's a few of them that you can do like that and the eucalyptus good for positive energy and let's see almost done <laughs> I got the Texas cedar wood the Texas cedar wood um, that's another one that's um, supposed to help stimulate growth sweet basil and let's see we got ginger so I got ginger in both in um, all three forms too. Sandalwood, the essential oil. This one was a little expensive too. Sandalwood is another one that's always expensive. I believe it's expensive because it has such a beautiful smell to it. That's what I believe. But um, I don't know why they make it so expensive. Vanilla, our essential oil. Vanilla can be quite expensive too. Um, Palmarosa. I think I brought this one because it was on sale when I was on the website. <laughs> yeah, I am a true, uh, you know, I finally got over the essential oil um, junkinism. So I'm working on everything else now. Lemon. Um, when my daughter has a sore throat, you know, essential oils, you're really not supposed to, you know, take them internally, but. If she has a sore throat, I'll drop one drop on the back of her throat, and it really does help. Um, clove bud. Seen it in a recipe somewhere. Lavender. Orange. Rosemary. Y'all know about all those. Peppermint. Tea tree. Y'all know about all those. Some more lavender. Some more orange neem oil now this one I got from my local um, um, Indian um, grocery store and look how thick and 
thick that looks neem oil 100 percent pure and you know if you shoot neem oil is one very stinky stinky oil but if you got the itchy scalp the neem oil is your friend and uh let's see what else i got here basil more basil these were on I, re, I remember these were one of the sales of the month one of the specials so i just brought it and then i got some myrtle and the very last one i have is juniper berry and that's y'all is all of my essential oils all right so i'll talk to y'all later oh wait 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 this is not an essential oil, but I got some more oil. Some emu oil. Some macadamia oil. Well, actually, I'll put these. Alright, that's all I got, y'all. Alright, I'll put the other ones with the actual oils because that's what they are they're oils they're not essential oils so, or they're not herbs i'll put them with the other oils all right i'll see y'all in the next video bye bye